Okay, hi to everybody. Uh, thanks. First things, thanks uh, to be part of my webinar of today. Uh, I am Mr. Fabris. Uh, I am from Italy. Uh, I hope you are well, also because the situation in the world is not very good. We hope it will be normal as soon as possible. Uh, okay, I am Mr. Fabris. I am automotive designer and consultant, now freelance. I was employee for many years in one company here in Italy. And uh, five years ago, I started to be also freelance designer and uh, um, teacher and lecturer. As teacher and lecturer, what I teach, I go in university in uh, faculty engineering, design department, design in art and design, high school, uh, technical schools, uh, Academy of Design. I was also in India uh, three times in India, yes, in New Delhi and in Coimbatore in south of India. Uh, what I teach is that how to make uh, how to make cars or vehicle, not just illustration for cars or vehicle, because I think about the project. The, the sketches, the drawings are really important part, uh, but are not enough. No, the project. If you if you need two years to make a car, uh, you need to be able to develop the project, starting from the sketch to the model to production. This is the all steps. Uh, you see, and um, as designer, as freelance, I am very lucky now because I I have some clients uh, in USA and in China and uh, I am uh, involved sometimes in different projects or full project or part of projects like some concept research or work with modelers. This is a part of my job also. I coordinate, I am team leader, I manage uh, designers uh, and um, also design in engineers and cast modeler, a virtual modeler. Okay, now we can start. This was a small introduction. We are planning to have some uh, some steps more when the situa situation will be normal. That's good. Uh, anyway, we go on. Uh, this is style and function. In the first document today, we have uh, we touched two documents. The first one is this one is a style and function. Okay, design is not only style. Cannot be only style. Why can't? Because if you make a car that is really beautiful, that you really like, you love, but you cannot use is just a big toy always i repeat that to my students is a big toy uh, cars are not toys okay you cannot have also if you look from other point of view you cannot have only function because if you have only function you cannot uh, uh, you you don't buy a car because if you have a perfect all functions perfect but the car don't have some fashion some cool something that you really like, you don't buy this car, okay? Car makers don't make cars just for joke. Car makers make cars because they want to sell cars. This is the point. I will show in this document the relationship that is very strong between style and function together for exterior and for interior. Now we go on in the first and just let me check something. Uh, just asking. Okay, perfect. Okay, we check this one. Everything, everything in every project about automotive or transportation design projects start from the package. You can see here, this one is the is the package, you know? Here we can see this was a Qashqai, the first Nissan Qashqai. But we can see different points. We can see all limits for the point of view. We can see the space for the head, for front passengers and rear passengers. We can see the H point. This point is here, is really, really fundamental. All ergonomic things start from H point. It's the connection between body and leg. At, at this point is very fundamental. Okay, but you can find also more and more information in the package. You have the limit. This limit is the angle for ramp in the front and the back. You can see also this part in the front and in the back is for crash test. Okay, you need to have the bumper more or less in this area, the crash bumper here. Okay, uh, you have also limit for steering wheels, uh, the the roof. You have all all information from engineering department and the designer starting to make sketches, looking this one because if you don't look the package, you can make a very beautiful car or vehicle, but it will be problem because the package really help you. To make the right product, we go on the 
second one you see the front in the top view is the same again this one this L these are an elements are for crash test this is for opening the angle for opening door you have all information really all all informations as in the front no, you cannot put uh, the lamps uh, the front lamps or rear lamps or fog lamps or rear fog lamps where you want you can't you have limits to respect you have a range of area where you need the path the number plate you cannot put where you want also in this case you have a range of area the car design uh, or automotive design or transportation design is very hard job because the sims is simple just make a sketch and the car is done is not right you have a lot a lot of limits and you need to respect all limits that you receive from the package. If you make a car without any limits, is first everybody can do it. No limits, any control. Okay. Second one is very easy because you don't need to think about anything. The very good designer is the designer that make a good job respecting all limits from the package. This is very important point. And uh, we can go on, we can see another one. Okay. This was uh, now we I show exactly some examples about cars. Okay. Uh, we start from exterior and after we move in interior. This one was Alfa Romeo 156, Alfa Romeo 156 in Italian. And it was very, very important because in that time Alfa Romeo was not very good about quality and about design and talking about the design the cars before of this one was not really Alfa Romeo this is very important um, talking about DNA okay is another document but today we don't have time to I don't have time to show maybe next um, is it is a, uh, about the DNA why Alfa Romeo is Alfa Romeo especially in this one you can see especially in the front you see this type of logo but we talk now about style and function this car is a is a sedan four doors that's right but in the end you can find just one handle in the side you can see just the front handle for the door the second one is here is quite close to the c pillar car design we have a pillar a pillar b pillar and c pillar you have the second handle is here now you can find this type of handle in a lot of cars in a city car but here there is a why because they would like to give coupe feeling about style but four doors for comfort to go inside this is a function okay and we can see very well style and function together now we go on okay this is the next is very important this one <clears throat> uh, up the Images up is Audi Nuvolari uh, 4 concept uh, 2003. Okay, we can see very big grill. Was the first time that Audi used this big grill that is called a single frame. Okay, they connected everything in the grill and is very good job if we talk about design. Why? Because in one element, the big grill, you have a lot of function. You have the chrome for the grill. You have the logo of the brand you have the space for number plate and also is air intake for radiator you have one element and four functions and is very important and it was very important for for audi and a lot of brands copy this type of approach now audi keep the same concept just the grill a little bit more um, inclinated with more angles okay uh, but it's very minimum the concept is the same this have a very big grill that is called the single frame one thing's more about that car um, in the past in 60 70 uh, there was some car designer that was a, a superstar okay like bertone like pinifarina like giugiaro now uh, the, the design project is not made from one designer you have a team always you have a team the best job is done from the best teams different team in effect this car prototype and production car was made by okay audi is a german automaker okay the designer is a japanese designer and the boss of the designer was italian designer means that to have a very good job you need to have the right people for the right job okay we go on 
we have uh, up Ferrari F40 87 and down Cistalia 202 GT by Pininfarina 51. The first one is uh, we can find the relationship between style and function in the spoiler in the back. That is very big. In that time, when the Ferrari launched the, that car, everybody said, oh, but maybe it's too much, it's not very elegant, it's not very Ferrari feeling. But the Ferrari team, they said, we need to have this one to keep the car on the street. And this element that is very, very big if you see in reality, uh, become a very iconic part of this car, but started to be uh, a part for function to keep the car on the street, right? Okay, Cis Italia. This car is very, very important. Uh, first one is the is the first car that was in the permanent collection in MoMA Museum in New York. Okay, is a made by Pininfarina. The big change from Pininfarina was about the grill and lamp and lamps and the shapes. I tell you why. Before of this car, all grille was more vertical than horizontal. What Pininfarina made was more horizontal than vertical, move down and cover everything with just one shape. Before of this car, if you look, the car was made, the front of the car was made by lamp, grille, lamp. Was three parts separated, not only one. Pininfarina was the first that was thinking about to make just one shape with the functions inside. Oh, we go in uh, uh, Auto Bianchi Y10. Okay, I know maybe some one of you think is a box. It's a bit box, but was very innovative car, this one. Now it's quite normal to find a car with the back cut like this. But this was the first. The first car with the back totally cut and it was made by the design center of lunch. Auto Bianchi was lunch at the time. Why was cut for aerodynamic? Because the best is have more long shape. This one helps you to have best aerodynamic without have a car long seven, eight meters. That's good. And they have this very strong function and the back part was in all version of this car or black or with different textures and color mean and colors means that there is a function very very important for aerodynamic and the designer made a stylistic solution for this function okay. oh we have some uh, four examples now we have a fiat panda the light blue we have red the Twingo, we have a Fiat Punto, left down, and we have uh, right down is smart that everybody knew. Okay, we have a Fiat Panda from 80. This one was a very industrial project from Giugiaro, from Ital Design. Okay, Fiat, the briefing from Fiat was, we would like to build a car, but we have a very, very limited uh, budget. We don't want to use a lot of money to make this car. Perfect. The best solution was to keep all surfaces quite flat, especially all windows, all glasses of this car are flat, no curves in any direction, because it's less expensive than have uh, uh, windows with curves. Okay, now we can go on. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, the red one is Twingo. And uh, this one was very, very interesting from Renault 93, because the concept was a very big space Space inside and small space outside, like a small box. But you cannot, you cannot sell a box because people don't like box and people don't buy box. The very innovative also part was the front, no, with the frog eyes. In car design, we call this one frog eyes because if you remember a little bit the front of the frog, no, to give a more friendly image. Friendly image, maybe you like, maybe you will buy. This is the the process, no. In the Fiat Punto, the first Punto, made by Giugiaro, we have uh, style and function in the C-pillar. C-pillar is not only a pillar, there is the red light inside of C-pillar. Smart, that everybody, I think you know, is uh, we, we can find in the different color, you see black part and light gray part. The black part is just to tell you, these one are panels, okay? But the light gray part, are panels that cover the box that protect you if you have a crash. 
means that Smart would like to show outside what you have inside of the car. Oh, another example. Okay, this one is a Ferrari Testarossa 84. Okay, very characteristic part is the grill, this one, with some grid. Okay, but why? Uh, because in that time, Ferrari Formula One, you can see here, have the radiators in this position. It's a Ferrari Formula One 126 C3. Okay, it was Gilles, Gilles Villeneuve was the driver, Ronnie Peterson. Okay, uh, the driver, the radiators are in this position. You see, a little bit diagonal in the middle of the car. The feeling from the designer of a Ferrari was keep the soul from Formula One and keep the radiators in the same position. And you can see here, the radiators are in this position exactly the same of formula one like here in effect the car is very very large is more than two meters larger it's very big and you have the air intake for radiators right why the grid because when a ferrari would like to sell this car in usa in that time 84 you cannot have a big air intake without net without grid without anything they added these five grids that you can find in the back. You can find also in the front of the car. You can find some cars like, uh, of course, Ferrari, Ferrari 348 on Ferrari Mondial that have the same stylistic solution with some grids. Okay. And the, the, very important this for style and function is that we have a function air intake that help you to find stylistic solution. Oh, this one is a Mercedes-Benz 300 SL racing car. We need to talk a little bit about the, the moment of the history. We are five years later that the second world war was finished. And uh, uh, after the war, all countries in 45, um, all countries said, okay, you are Germany, uh, you can you can build anything no cars no motorcycle no plane anything no trucks no cars anything five years later the countries that won the war they said okay mercedes if you want you are german company if you want you can build something again okay mercedes said ok if i come back i come back with something special and they build this car only for race was not for people just for race just for driver for race okay in effect you can see the door is open like that and stop in the belt line okay and stop in the belt line eh, because the, the driver usually in indianapolis or race car go inside from this direction don't open this part okay there is anything here I'm sorry, I need to just check something. Ah, yes, okay, yes. I'm sorry, sometimes the connection is a, a bit strange. I just need to check something again. Okay, uh, this one was a car. Uh, just uh, let me check. I need to check everything here if the connection is very good. Oh, that's good. Okay, uh, after uh, this car that was just for race, okay, um, one... American USA dealer have a very interesting idea. Uh, Kim said, okay, why we don't try to transform this car in, uh, in a car for someone, a small series, not a big production, okay? It was just a small series, this one. You cannot build a big one because it's very strange to go inside of this car. And again, we can see here, and you can see the solution was very easy. You cannot sell a car for people that go inside with the door in the belt line. They moved down the belt line, the door, the cut line of the door from the belt line to here. Okay, you can see very well, I think. But why no more down? Because there is the frame. You cannot cut the frame. And this is the best solution. And you have a characteristic car that is this one, one of the most beautiful car from Mercedes-Benz. is the 300 SL called as nickname Gullwing. You see the door, no? Are Gullwings. 
and you see the door is but the, what this is very important to understand they didn't more because they can cut the frame of the car means that there is a function to define keep the same frame keeping the same frame they found a stylistic solution the gullwing door that the mercedes-benz using still today from 54. this is very one of the best example about style and function together okay now we examine the other part of the car this is the, are the lamps of a volkswagen cross coupe concept 2011 they are using the same solution still now the solution is to have lamps you can see here this part of daylight together with the grill we can find a lot of cars now the connection between the grill and lamps or lamps and grill i show another one okay we can see mazda is one of the best uh, this is the concept is a Takeri concept. We have Shinari concept one year later, one year later, and this is the production. It's not the last one, it's a Mazda 6. But the process, is the, the concept is the same, is to mix lamps and grill together. You can see lamps and grill together, lamps and grill together. And we go on. This is the last big concept from Mazda, very, very elegant and simple concept is Mazda Vision Coupe concept, you can see here, and again, the grill go inside of the lamp, and a part of the grill is a part of daylight. This one is a daylight, and that's a turn indicator. Okay, you depend on the using. Just coming back at one minute, I just show the development, the importance to keep the right proportion and respect in the package. Look, this is the prototype. That's good, it's nice, no? But starting to be different in this step. And if we look at this car that is the production car, is really different from the prototype. Okay, they starting to keep the original concept, but some proportions are really different. But coming back in the past, uh, is not totally new to talk about the lamps and grill together. If you check USA cars in 60 and 17, you can find a lot of cars that have lamps and grill together. But today is more modern because the material are modern, the lamps are modern. Again, the same you can see, this is the Toyota Yaris. Again, this is a part of daylight, go out and become a part of the grill of the front of the, the Yaris. And the, this is very new. This is the last Hyundai Sonata. And we can see they made a different uh, approach with lamps. It's not connection with uh, grill, but with the chrome of the belt line. You can see very well in the red slide, in the red picture. This is the chrome that move, 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 go until here. And from this point, starting to be daylight. And we can see here the separation between light and just chrome. But light is just one part that become from daylight and chrome that move all around okay the importance of the lamps now we touch this one uh, that is um okay that's good <clears throat> okay sorry sometime the connection i have a lot of things <laughs> i'm sorry um oh lamps this one is renault megan is the last megan very very characteristic rear lamps this is a night uh, picture but immediately if you see one time Renault in the day with the logo and with this type of lamp you will remember forever that these lamps are Renault okay this is the importance of the lamps okay we go on this is a Renault Zoe uh, is electric car from Renault and of course uh, talking about style and function we have style with the grille with the logo but under the logo of Renault, we have the charging for battery for the car. Okay, they use the, this part that is really for style because it's the brand, you know, it's the logo of the car, it's the, the, it's the face of the car. You know, the, the logo in this case is a part of the face of the car. And they use this one as a function to charge again the car. Oh, this one. Okay, perfect. Uh, this one is uh, Aston Martin, a very important detail that you can find in a lot, a lot of Aston Martin. Different shapes, different dimension, different uh, inclination, but uh, you can see very well here. Why this part? Because they want to have this element to move out the hair that come from the fender, the under fender part of the car, to keep the car on the street for pressure. 
okay and you can see very well here and this very uh, strong element uh, talking about style but also talking about function okay is very very quite quite a good example oh keeping the same you can see here at the same we have this space the hair go out from here the hair that is inside go out from here but this one is called the concord edition maybe you are i don't know if you are young or not but you remember the concord the supersonic plane and they used the logo of the concord that was made by france and the uk together and uh, france and british airways and they used the, the logo of concord to give more personality to this characteristic element from Aston Martin. Oh, now we talk about the, um, the roof. Uh, so why? This is the last Dodge, Vip, Dodge Viper, sorry. Uh, why they have this type of roof with the double bubble? You can see here this one and that one. Because this car is born to go to race. If you go to race, you must to have a helmet. If you have helmet, you must to have more space up of your head. For that, you have uh, a function that um, that is uh, to have uh, uh, to have a helmet inside of the car. For that, the roof have this characteristic shape outside because you must to have more space for helmet inside. Okay, here we have the Peugeot. We have uh, maybe the small. Uh, the car is from two, 2000, okay, we can see here, is the Peugeot uh, 200 Cora in France, uh, is the prototype of 206cc, okay, but the reference you can see in the background is a Peugeot 402 Eclipse Decapotable, okay, and uh, you can see the opening, uh, the, the roof, no, is uh, go inside and you have a cabriolet, but if you want close, you have you can close and this one is the first small car with this type of uh, mechanism to have uh, cabriolet and coupe, coupe together okay coming back about uh, oh sorry okay this one is uh, as example how you can use the cut line to make style and design you can see this one is not the last volkswagen golf but we can see very well this line is the line that divide bumper and body is the same line that divide turn indicator and highlights but is the same line that is a part of the grill in one line you can find the division for three different functions we can see also in audi q5 the same this line is the line that divide body and bumper the light the light sorry the line for real lamp but also is the line where under that there is the light for number plate only one line some function only one line some functions oh this is the face of some new citroen c3 and c5 again connection between lamps and citroen logo you can see citroen logo chrome go inside lamp for this one and that one oh this one we go we move a little bit in uh, usa this one is a lincoln continental concept the car is quite normal is not very advanced the sedan but some elements are really really interesting we can see the lamps and we can see the logo of lincoln but you can see every single small part of the lamp remember the logo of lincoln they would like to keep the soul um, of lincoln in every single detail of this car this is the first uh, we can see very well in that one we have a lot of element here we can see the chrome that is moving all around belt line and uh, um, glass arch this one but the, the the chrome moving out you have the handle for the door inside of the handle there is a courtesy light and again you can find the lincoln courtesy light It's very good good uh, details about the design Oh, this is a is very old style, but we are in 34. Maybe it's the first monovolume in car design story. It's a stout scarab. Uh, the car, why I put this one? Because uh, here there is the engine, is in the back. 
but again to have air for engine they made this type of shape like more art deco and this is for style but under the style you have the hair go inside for the engine okay now we touch a little bit the interior about the same and just okay perfect okay this one is fiat panda is the car that we saw before okay and the totally flat uh, windows and uh, shapes okay the interior is very uh, function fantastic you can see the section here no you can put everything in this bag you can put what you want and they keep this type of approach also from the last fiat panda but in that time someone can ask okay where is their bag for passenger in that time we are in 80 you don't you you can have free space no airbag for passenger no airbag for driver in that time it was okay now you can't of course oh this one is a citroen bx okay now we have a lot of car a lot of cars not only sports cars and you have the gear shift close to the steering wheels right but this was the first car that uh, starting to move this type of concept we can see the steering wheels is a citroen bx 82 and we can see this element in right side and left side and you can move this small part without taking off your head your uh, hands from the steering wheels just move the fingers the same of the gear shift close the, to the steering wheels oh again mercedes-benz okay uh, now in a lot of mercedes-benz in some they are making just a screen but in a, in a lot of mercedes-benz we can find one two three four five air vents but why five air vents because the designer of a mercedes very made a very good job they was looking the story of mercedes-benz dna and mercedes-benz in the past was a builder of planes you can see and in the planes you can find one two three four and five elements in the sketch one two three four five in production five elements for a vent means that the mercedes-benz said i am doing this one because five circular elements are in my dna it's very very interesting job again mercedes-benz a detail about the commands for the seat okay is this one i am talking about that and about this here first they had the first intuition to use the seat as command no it's very intuitive how to use it but in 91 was a black plastic part take a look now with chrome with leather with leather again this the function is exactly the same just change the style and of course this element is more more interesting than just the plastic black part okay now we can uh, we can talk about touch screen you know everybody in uh, all cars starting to have a touch screen we have tesla s renault clio and the chevrolet ev bolt we can see tesla s this one is very big screen 17 inch very big but like the screen is just patted in the middle of the dashboard in the clio 2013 <laughs> Uh, sorry is a little bit is smaller of course it's seven inch eight inch but it's more integrated in a chevrolet ev bolt all lines of the dashboard move from the central screen now we i show you something about advance take a look this one is kia sorento this year genesis g80 this year and polestar present concept 2020 this year this one is a concept this is a production this is a production car but look at the different approach the higher vents in the kia sorento are really really strong element you can see one two three four very strong you can see with the chrome part around okay very very strong very impressive part in the genesis g80 you're starting to see just a small part of chrome with some comments but you don't see higher vents you don't see air vent in the polestar you see just a chrome part and some part this one and that one from where the hair go out but you don't see any type of eye vents it's really different approach and of course we go back to the the touch screen and screen for like for an instrument panel 
We go to the past to look something interesting because this one is Chevrolet Corvette Roadster 53, is a USA car, and we can see total symmetry between left side and the right side. In left, we have the instrument panel, and this one is just for air vents, but it's totally the same. We can see also the chrome that is moving all around. And another interesting detail is that inside you have the same color of outside. If you do something like that now, people don't buy the car. They think, oh, it's a cheap car, use the same color, we don't like. But in that time, it was a very cool to have this type of car. Oh, BMW. In more or less all BMW, you will find the central part of the dashboard rotated for the driver. Just in some cases, is horizontal. In many, many times, they use this part is rotated to help the driver to look very well all information. Okay, this one is a Citroën C4 Cactus. We have two interesting things. The first one is to about the seat. They added that this element is optional part. You need to pay to have this. You need to pay more to have this and that. But they will like create a, a, a front sofa and a rear sofa. Not just five seats, but two sofa. More interesting is the position of the, the airbag for passengers. Take a look. Now, in a lot of cars, the airbag is in the front of the front passengers. The front passenger here. This is the first car with the airbag in upper part. It's not here, but is up and go down from this direction. It's the first car in production with this type of solution. Uh, they made the car, but the solution of this airbag is from a USA company. Oh, Renault Pass A84 is, was a very innovative car, that one. It's a very big monovolume, and the approach was, uh, um, I use my car many times during the day, all day, many times. Maybe my car is not only my car, it's a part of my home. Maybe my car can be a room of my home. In effect, in that time, you can rotate the, drive, the driver's seat, the front passenger seat, move down the central seat and we have four seats and a table okay it's really totally different approach it's not only car to move from a point to b point but you can stop in some point you can have like is a is a room this one not just a car but if we look very well is exactly the same about what they are doing now for autonomous car no Four seats, four seats, table, table. Of course, this one is Mercedes-Benz F015. It's more modern, different material, different light, different approach, screen everywhere. But uh, the images is quite the same, no? with four seats and one table. Okay, this one is a, a McLaren speed tail. What we can see, that the driver is in the central position. They made the McLaren F1 that for many, many years it was the most fast car in the world for 30 years. There was, okay, McLaren, when they made the Formula F1, they won a lot of championship in Formula 1 with McLaren Honda, with Alain Prost and Ayrton Senna. The idea was to keep, to give to the driver the same feeling of a Formula 1 driver, okay? Means the driver in central position. Passengers left back right back this is a different approach but you, you can see very well here no like is a formula one you have all information around of you also in the roof this is a, is the seat of the driver seat for passenger seat for passenger okay in this document i call it the, from the sketch to the model to the model one to one okay and uh, this one is the i will show every single step from the first sketch when, when the people make concept research to the model one-to-one -one frozen means when uh, when the, the clay model and the, I will show what means clay clay model is a frozen means the car is ready for production okay now I just go uh, minutes okay let's go concept sketches okay I show the importance of the sketches sometime when I talk with my students I say, I said okay you need to have some skits for drawings, but with the new softwares, like for uh, to draw or to model in 3D, 
it's important to have a good idea. I show four sketches, very simple sketches. You can see. Oh, just a moment, I need to check the second one. Huh? Give me minutes. Ah, oh, just a minute. Okay. Oh, this is me. Sorry, just a moment. I go in the second PPT. Oh, okay. I think now is okay. I'm sorry, this was. Uh, Okay, I just wait a confirmation that everything is okay. But uh, anyway, I think now it's okay. Uh, we are, we was talking about the four sketches. In the left up sketch, we have the sketch for the first mini that really changed the, the automotive design. Right up, we have the sketch for the first Audi TT. Very simple, but very impressive to keep uh, the the idea. Okay. And we have the Alfa Romeo 156 and the black one is the Kia. I just spend some words more about Kia. Why? Because if you look at what was Kia before change the face, it was very quite normal Korean cars. Take a look now what Kia is doing. But everything started from this concept that is called the Tiger Nose from Kia to give a very strong identity to Kia cars and Kia products. Now we check the development of, of some cars. Oh, this one is a, the first Volkswagen Golf, the blue one. It's the sketch made by Giugiaro. This is the first Volkswagen Golf 74. This is the evolution from 74 to 2012. I didn't part the last one uh, because the last one is a bit different. This is the best to check the evolution in the back part. No? But about this car is a very interesting thing. It's a very interesting story because Volkswagen before making this car, they had still in that moment, they had the Beetle from the Second War, okay? And they asked to Giugiaro, please, we don't know. We don't know what we can do, okay? Giugiaro made this car, this car that was a status, okay? This is a, maybe this here, we can see the two best examples about the importance of the idea. We can see on the left side, two sketches. Maybe someone like, maybe someone don't like, but... Uh, at the moment, we are not talking if we like or not. Take a look at the sketch for Lamborghini Miura and take a look at the car. One of the most beautiful Lamborghini ever. Again, for Countach, very simple sketches, very strong image in reality. Uh, some words about Countach. Countach is the Italian is a dialect, Italian expression, expression that means wow. Okay, because uh, um, Bertone uh, Lamborghini was testing the car and close to the farmer and there was a, a farmer that was oh Countach and means wow was exclamation about that car. Oh, this one is uh, the sketches for uh, Bertone Lancia Stratos 070. This was the normal car. You can see like it's a very quite normal sedan. The idea from the designer that is Gandini was Keep the engine in the same position. Just move the gear shift from here to here. This car that is crazy, very special. The height of this car is 84 centimeters. Very small height. You go inside from here. This is means when the designer have a freedom to show something really new. Okay, but everything starts from this quite normal car. Okay. Okay, this I, I show three slides about the importance of the proportions. Okay, take a look. Up we have the sketch, down we have the car. It's very easy to understand that this type of proportion is not right, it's not possible to have this type of window. In effect, the final result is more different from the sketch. But this one it was carried in 2001. But we can see also in the modern car, now take a look. BMW X7. X6, sorry, is M version. Take a look at the sketch, take a look at the car. Take a look at the window, take a look at the back. This is coming back about the importance of proportions and package. But also if you go to check some Audi, the same, take a look at the window, take a look at the, the wheel. Okay, 
uh, I am designer. I know it's, uh, it's funny and uh, to emphasize something is quite good to make wheels bigger. Sometimes are really too much bigger. Okay, anyway. Uh, the sketches after the sketches is the people move on the renderings by Photoshop or screenshot or um, sketchbook, but softwares are softwares. Everybody can learn software. Important is to have idea. Still now I prefer work by hands, but I can use Photoshop, of course. As example, this car is very uh, personally I I don't like too much this car, but the sketch is quite good very fresh very innovative uh, is very very good approach to make a sketch uh, to draw we have a lot of way by pen pencil marker tablet and computer or synthetic you drew directly on the computers in the past they made this one is a ford design center on 60 one to one by hands whole by hands very artist but also here you can see this is a technical drawing is a Carrozzeria Turing is Italian coach builder uh, one to one by hands technical drawing is amazing oh here we can see also this one this one is Alfa Romeo to Giulia Spr Giulietta Sprint Coupe wooden bodywork mock-up for prototypes made by Bertone and here we can see very well this one a hood is uh, X sections this one X sections, Y sections, this one and this one, and Z sections to make a car. When you, after the sketch, you make the plan, the shape plane like this with again X section, you can see here X sections, Z sections, this one, and the Y section here. This one was Citroën Maserati. After that, it's possible to make tape rendering like that to control every single curves and lines of the renderings. This one is uh, after that you can make alias model, but you see always starting from the four orthogonal views: side, front, back, top. Starting to big surfaces, you see, and you starting to have a model. Always checking by the sections X, Y, and Z. Okay, this is alias model. Now you see the shapes. This is a shading to control the surfaces. Here again, talking about Y sections, another X sections, X sections. All sections help you to have a model and you can control. This one is a, a model with just shading, no sections. And after you can add some other parts, like in this case, lens, net for radiators, lamps, engine, nets, now all, every single details. To make a model, uh, you can use uh, three type of material: plaster, epoxy, and clay. Pl why plaster? Plaster is uh, is very cheap. Now a lot, very very less time they use uh, this one. They prefer use clay or virtual 3D. The, here we can see Giugiaro, Giugiaro Sassoon, Fabrizio, and Ferdinand Pieck. I worked here as modeler many years ago. And this one is the why they use uh, in the past they use a plaster because it was very cheap. But the model, when you after the presentation, you need to just destroy, you cannot use again. Okay, this one are the original plan of shape made by Giugiaro for our form umbrella prototype. You can see these are back, top, side, and front. We can see here alias model is a plaster with milling machine and the paint the the plaster model it's possible to use also epoxy epoxy is a hard material use epoxy if you make a small series or you prepare a, a model master for a, a small production of car okay different color means different density and this is the car made by the by the epoxy epoxy is a is a semi liquid part you put on the model wait some hours so you can work but it's very hard material okay everybody everybody use clay for exterior and for interior clay is a synthetic wax you can put in the oven at 60 degree and you can put on the model be careful because it's very hot you need to use gloves and you you can have a different type of clay you can see here in the picture you put and the, the modelers can work with some type of tools like this like that or like this one no? inside how they make the clay model they make the clay model like that with mechanical, no mechanical, um, metallic part, hood, foam, just the last 20, 25 part is in clay. 
This is the most hardest part. Cover all form model with clay. You see the gloves, no? Oh, this is normal situation. Three modelers, one for the back, one for the side, one for the front. You see the small one, okay? This is, they move up to control very well every single line. This is normal situation. Cables everywhere. Clay is very good because you can use not only one time, but three, four times. It's, it's a bit expensive. Every single part of the clay of this one, sorry, or every single of this is more or less 20 euro. Is quite expensive, but you can use it a lot of time, not just one. Okay, the big uh, stamp about the cards. Okay, the clay I said is expensive. Sometimes they make this one in one model. You can see two proportion, two proposals. No, left and right is not the same. It's asymmetric to save money just for that. But after with the big screen in the front, the big screen in the back, you can see two fronts, two backs. Or by Photoshop, you can see. No, you make a picture, you can make. Oh, by tapes, you can adjust and control every single lines of the clay model. Also here, this one is the last Bugatti. And also here, the modelers with the designer, they adjust or up or down or curve or straight the, the lines. You can cover the, the clay model with Dynoc. It's a plastic film you, with, using a sponge and water. You pat on the model, you can see very well, no? And you can control... Uh, with light if the surfaces are okay and this what you see here this one is a clay model cover with plastic film called the dynoc you move out to control with natural light you can paint clay but if you can if you paint you cannot use again okay but the results take a look is quite amazing like it's really real real car when all jobs is done about clay model they scan again have a mesh and make surfaces again. In the first step, you make big class surfaces. In the next step, you make to move in a class surfaces ready for production. Of course, they use a milling machine. Okay, you can see form, clay, and they work in just one side. When one side is okay, copy by milling machine. All of this clay, you can save and use again. And by the screen, you know exactly where is the tool because you have X, Y, and Z coordinates of course the clay is, is used also for interior now you can see for quite normal interior but also for more advanced interior every single detail in clay of course this part is not is a use you can use for interior a different type of uh, paint only for clay you put with the sponge <clears throat> they put the rapid prototyping part you see no lamps because they are waiting that the supplier come with the lamps you put inside the rapid prototyping parts in this case the log of bmw or the lamps are a fake part they simulate the reality they respect every regulation okay why you say because they was the first that used the clay you see, this is a spaceship 58 again clay but also here you can see this is one front this is another front you see very typical dress from 60 but they was the first that used the clay this is the workshop where they build the clay model okay they control every single detail big model small model one to four usually in japanese one is a mazda sometimes they use a clay also for the styling you see new grill no new bumper new grill new bumper if they use also if they make a new hood new lamps a new fender means that to have a new car in the weight more mm, you can use clay also for motorcycles you can see again this one is apple wood or for truck this is one to one this is a small clay model but this one is one to one model for truck okay and this is the presentation of clay model. It's very important part of the presentation because you need to be able to convince a people that invest a lot of money that your idea is the best idea. I was invited, I worked in China many years ago. I was invited to see one presentation. There was model one and model two. Model one was okay, not too much advanced, but it was quite good. Okay, model two was very innovative, very advanced very good model but the difference was made by the designers because the designer that made the, uh, the presentation for model one was a showman is it him made a fantastic presentation 
the designer of Model 2 was okay, but not enough, and him lost just because the presentation was different. Oh, coming back about our clay model, you can see if you look at the right side of this Lotus, this one is not a car, it's a clay model, except the wheels and the rims. Everything is a this one is a clay, <clears throat> sorry, lamps, net, mirrors, rapid prototyping parts to simulate the reality. When you see the clay model frozen, like there is a real car in front of you, really, really, real, real car. Uh, I think uh, I was running to checking the time, but I think now it's okay. And I think now we can move on uh, live chat with uh, if uh, there is someone of you have some question to me, I could check, I can, I can check. Uh, someone is, uh, I just answered, I am reading, eh? someone asked to me if the clay is done for every prototype. Yes, uh, clay model is done for every car that you see outside. Also today, if they use the 3D, 3D model, virtual 3D model, the best way is to have one model one-to-one. -one. Because you can move around, you can check. Uh, I go. I understood the question. Just a moment, I show you. Because of what you see on clay model in reality. Okay, if you look at this one as example, no, you can see the model. You can turn. You can have a screen a big two meters, but you never have the same feeling if you have a clay model like that. That you can move around. You can touch the surfaces. Okay, uh, this is the point. Um, is very important, but for all cars that you see outside, prototypes or production cars, for all vehicles, also for both, for trucks, for motorcycles, they make the model uh, or one to one or a scale on the pens. Uh, someone is asking about the aerodynamic of cars. Yes, they test the clay model in uh, with the tube sometimes. They move the clay model to check and control the aerodynamic. Aerodynamic is very important, no? They don't make cars just to make cars. They control every single details about so also aerodynamic. I just... Uh, uh, I, I don't know if we have more webinars. We are, we are thinking something. Uh, the people from uh, Imperial uh, Society will let you know something more. Uh, uh, about aerodynamics, I am not engineer. I don't know exactly which software is the best to control aerodynamics. Okay, uh, why we can oh, we we can have holo holographic view of car model. Uh, yes, uh, in some cases is okay, but I believe the best way is to have a physical model to move around. Uh, to move around and uh, because you can check you control someone is asking about best software for beginners uh, the software that i suggest are uh, very simple photoshop to drawing and alias model alias is very good alias uh, autodesk alias wave front exactly the name is very good to start and you can find a million of job opportunity as alias modeler for because you need to imagine every single part of cars, truck, boat, plane are made by some software, modeling software. If you learn one, it's very good. Okay. Oh, someone is say thank you. Hey, someone is asking for uh, automotive engineering in Italy or Germany. Just look on internet. So you are a young generation. I don't know if you are young or not, but uh, in Google, you need to find a lot, a lot, a lot of information. Uh, someone is asking uh, if you can put, uh, um, can we make one half of the car using clay and put, I guess, in a mirror? For fuel view, no. Okay, for model one to one, no. For small model one to four or one to five, yes. Okay, for one to one, you cannot put, you cannot have a mirror. No, you can, but they don't do a mirror long four meters. For a small model, one to five, yes. I show you. Uh, I go, I go, oh, that one, okay. For one to one, you never find a middle mirror big as one car. For a small model, yes. For a model, 
for a model like that, you can see, yes, you can have a small, a small mirror in the middle. Uh, oh, someone is asking something about the proportion. Uh, proportion are really, really fundamental. You break the proportions if you do a car with all freedom, all type of, but usually if you work for a company, you have a package to respect. And that's so sometimes I work with some students that they make a car long eight meters. The high is uh, less than one meter. Nobody go, can go inside. You need, it's very hard to explain to the students, please, please think about that people need to go inside of the car. Why? We built clay model. We built the clay model to check if the solution is good or not. You cannot move a clay model. You can scan, you can control with engineers. No, the engineers come to you with the engineering part and check if you are right or not. Until you have something on... Uh, <clears throat> okay, just on paper is not enough. But also if you have in virtual 3D with the engineering part inside, to have the right perception of the object, you must have model one-to-one. -one. Uh, six months. Someone asked... Uh, how long need from sketch from scratch to make to final model is more or less six months with rapid prototyping part with everything from a very first sketch. Huh? Hey, aluminium, lightest body material is aluminium. You can look how this using aluminium everywhere. Uh, uh, personally, I prefer have more. Someone is asking, is I prefer simulating or modeling? Simulating is okay, really help. You can uh, reduce the timing to make the project, but find in the end to have the right feeling with the car you need to have, is my opinion, you need to have a model one to one. <laughs> At the moment, everything is, someone is asking, is, is asked if I start some company. At the moment, everything is stopped. You know, you know for by COVID-19, uh, is everything. Uh, oh, thanks for the compliments. I don't know. Okay, uh, best that the I am looking at the last question. Uh, how, how to reduce the cost of clay? Uh, making uh, two proposals in one model is one way. Okay, I said that clay is expensive, but uh, you can use a lot of time, not only one. All of this clay in the floor, you can use again, you can use again, okay? You, if you have some questions to more, more, you can contact me. You can see very well my contact, but please uh, go on a website, Imperial International Journals, and the website is uh, imperialsociety.in website, and check for assessment. Uh, I said we are thinking some steps more on the pen also from your feedback. If you would like to know more, if you would like to do more, because we have some uh, projects together with Imperial people. And thanks again to support. And take care, especially in this moment, in this situation. And uh, I hope we can, uh, we can see in live chat next time for different projects. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.